So, Barja, you um, were born in 74, 1974, and you started your career um, in uh, industrial design at the Escola de Diseño Elisava in Barcelona, Spain. And then you moved to London in um, 1999 to study graphic design at the London College of Printing. In 2007, you founded Lo Ciento Studio, uh, and uh, you're working with a team of six people there who work in um, design projects um, um, in global design, and especially in visual identity packaging and editorial design. Um, your projects are at the crossroads of graphic design, but also industrial design, connected to your education, of course, but also sculpture, volume, and crafts, um, in a context where you're always saying that you're very much on research. Uh, typography is something very important for you, um, and uh, present in very present in your work. And at the digital age, I think it's very interesting um, to notice that it's very much connected to 3D and sculpture, and that's very specific. Um, um, you're also a um, member of uh, Alliance Graphique Internationale, AG, uh, for a few years now, and you're uh, and uh, you're also, of course, uh, an international speaker and uh, giving a workshop in many different countries and many different uh, universities in Italy, Spain, and yeah, many other countries. Um, when we talked a um, few minutes ago, you told me that process, design process, was something important for you. And um, it's very important for me too, I must say. And I think it's uh, very interesting to go in the um, design process and what you will explain us about uh, your work. Um, and you told me something that reminds me um, uh, um, about, um, um, sorry, you, you said that it's very interesting for you to fail and to try to improve uh, by failing. And uh, I was thinking about um, uh, Beckett's words uh, that says, fail, fail again, fail better, could be kind of a motto uh, for you maybe in your work. Uh, and I want to mention too that uh, there is a great um, uh, interview of you that Gina did uh, on the website of Type Paris. And um, I was uh, very mm, interested in uh, some of the words you used in this uh, uh, interview, like experimentation, passionate, enthusiast, and typography. So we are, uh, ah, there is also ecosystem, typ typographic ecosystem. So we are more than happy to and honored to share all this with you tonight. Please welcome wow. Borja Martinez. Merci. Thank you. <laughs> merci, merci beaucoup. Eh? Uh, bonne nuit, bonne nuit, bonne nuit. Yeah. Um, I know a little bit of French because I, I study in uh, the Lycée Français de Barcelone, so I understand a little bit. So maybe I, I will throw some words during the presentation. And thanks a lot, Tai Paris, and Francois, uh, Veronique, Gina, Laurent. <laughs> I'm always um, starting with this uh, sentence. I don't know if it's right or uh, it's correct, but um, for me, uh, an idea is uh, worth man more than 1,000 designs, so you can uh, be a great designer, but um, at the end, for me, the best important thing is the root, is the idea. So it there's no idea, there's no soul. So um, we are um, always trying to search and to try to find uh, ideas. Um, and also working with this um, 
passion thing, but little by little. We are not very stressed. We are not very super connected with computers. We are not spending all the time in front of the machines. We try to avoid a little bit this um, uh, addiction to machines and, and to recover the artisan processes, to put them and to mix them with typography for a uh, graphic design purpose. <coughs> So at the end, well, what we actually we do is we cook uh, graphic ideas using typography, with a lot with a lot of respect for the original typefaces that we use in our projects. So um, our main stamp is uh, or trademark is this thing that you know we are always connected with the tactile thing. We do crafty design not just graphic design, but more close to craft. So uh, we are always trying to convert this um, the typographies that we do, kind of polyedrical typefaces like this one, but to transform these ones into something that are more is more physical, more three-dimensional, but um, always is a real thing, not uh, manipulated digitally. Um, so we started um, doing and making everything by hand, like this one, like this piece for a, for a this is for a, um, a project in Mallorca, you know, in uh, the Balear Islands, close to Catalonia, in Barcelona, and we did this for um, for a specific project, and it was a homage for an association that made all the boxes for the, you know, the pastry, the typical pastry in Mallorca, and they have a, a hexagonal boxes. So when they ask us to do uh, something related with this 50th anniversary, and we came out with this idea to do a real clock, you know, watch, but the inside parts of this uh, watch. So w we produced this just, you know, cutting by hand. Um, so in the studio we are have this division of projects. We actually we do branding. We do also experimentation on typography, analog typography. We do also um, this kind of illustration, volumetrical illustration that is paper craft. Um, a lot of packaging as well because we are super connected with the gastronomy field because we love to eat. We love to eat. I mean love <laughs> always. <laughs> with eating and we always mixing this food thing, you know, this gastronomy part with the, with the graphic design. So, um, lo siento means um, désolé, but it's uh, a two meaning word that means désolé, but at the same time means sentir. Um, I have always these questions from a lot of people saying, why lo siento, no? why you are désolé, no? And it's not about désolé, it's about passion, it's about sentire, it's about to do something in your life that is not a job, okay? So for me, that, that was the goal, no? to find this thing, no? Something that is, it knows you are not watching the, no? the, the watch every time, no? <coughs> when I started the, um, the studio, you, you have this moment that is your moment because you have absolute freedom to design your own visual identity, no? It's like, okay, there's no client. It's my moment, I can do whatever, whatever I want. But I, I didn't want, it, I didn't want to, to design it um, for myself. So that's why I, you know, I, I call this guy, that is Pablo Juncadilla from, from Mucho, and he's my best friend. And also the reason why I'm doing graphic design today, um, and I asked him, uh, Pablo, you, can you just um, design the identity for for my studio? And it's starting up, no? and I need help. And he come back with this idea. Okay, he said, okay, you are very rational. You are super rational. You are working by hand, manually all the time. Okay, I have this idea. So it's a stencil. It's a little stencil, li li little small stencil. And um, I will give you this one and just blank business cards and blank letterhead and every, uh, everything is blank. So you will have to design or you put your uh, logo there 
one by one manually. So that means that every single business card is is made originally, is different from on the other ones. And obviously this is the first thing that the interns uh, do when they come to the studio. We give them a box with blank business cards and they can do whatever they want. They can sew, spray, they can put dirt on it, it's fingerprints, whatever the technique is available using this um, little stencil. So it's about what you feel, no? Um, and I think that it's quite interesting to have this um, connection with the intern that you really don't know how he designs, no? And then this, this test, no? This exam, no? <laughs> it's not an exam, but it's just an um, experimentation thing. You can see, you know, how, how, is how the design skills are, no? So there's a little different, you know, spraying or another sewing, just putting some stickers. Everything is possible. Um, so when these interns, they finish the, the stage you know, in the studio, we, we used to do a gift for, for, for them. And it's based on this typography that we designed. It's a physical typography made um, with paper. Um, we call it uh, 4D because it's, uh, you, know, you have four different uh, insights. And it's a, it's a, it's a mix. is the idea to mix two, two letters in one block. So you can do whatever the combination you want to do, you can do it. No? Letter A with M, S, A. So the idea was to, to give this away to these guys when they finish the, the internship. We just took the the um, the letters from the name and the surname and we build this special unique piece for them um also we are a team we're a small team um in barcelona um we have three designers and one artisan and one studio manager that is pablo um we are here, you know, with this um, Renaissance portraits that we did the other day, just to present the team. And this guy is Gerard, that is the artisan. I, I, I call him the paper cirurgeon because he's always like a, you know, like a doctor. And this is me, and this is the team, okay? So this idea to touch with our recharge. So um, the most things that we do is manually done or using some machines to do at the end physical pieces, but not using the computer as a one of the you know powerful tools to recharge the, the, the final results. So we have a lab, we have a kitchen in the studio and and there is Gerard, that is this guy, that is, um, he's, um, he's been eight years in the studio, just doing, you know, the, the, the artisan processes, artisan part. So we'll show you some of the experimentation projects, just, you know, just using watercolors and smashing watercolors and using this as a topping thing through um, stencils to create some portraits or working with concrete and trying to do um, this typography um, transformation into the concrete. This is something that is um, happening right now. We are working for a, um, a music cover for a, a music band in Barcelona and they are called Kalima and this is the some test for the cover. So uh, I'm always saying that we are like the grandma, no? Like the, uh, the, uh, the grandma is cooking. We try to, you know, to put some flavor in our um, designs. We are not very into 
go fast. We try to go to slow down a little bit the process, but um, we know that the, the process is always pushing us to go fast and fast, no? and the client is you know, always pushing no? to have the, the work. Um, so the thing is, we are always trying to, to have this time, the extra time to find new ways new materials or new um, forms to use typography. In this case, we just finished this cover for a book, and it's called um, Salvar el Mundo. ¿Cómo salvar el mundo? ¿Podemos salvar el mundo antes de cenar? Is, uh, can we save the world before uh, dinner? And that's the cover, so we actually cut out this salami, and we uh, put it in the cover. Um, but as I, as I said, we, we, you know, we were trying to experiment with machines also. So we have this machine that is a laser cut engraving machine, but we use this to cook some, and to print some, some typography, to burn this typography on, on this uh, turkey layer, this turkey piece. And you have this uh, smell in the studio. You're working, hey, this, no, this, this something cooking there. <laughs> a a cooking the a, a cover. It's not doing a cover for this book. And we we realize that that it works pretty good. The machine, you know, it's toasting this, and burning this um, every single letter. Okay, I will not put it, and that's the result. Also, we are trained with different foods, with chocolate also, it works. You can engrave with this machine into the chocolate bars. Also, cutting um, some, as you know, quite a different letters for, uh, for a design for a catalog. Um, it's a lighting company called LZF in, uh, in Valencia, mm -hmm. in Spain, and we did all the design for this um, catalog, and because all the lamps are made with wood, obviously we, we were working with wood and creating all these um, typography set compositions for some, some of the chapters of the, of the catalog. This is the final catalog. So we always try to introduce this physical part, this tactile part, into the more flat digital design to keep more more wa warm, no more warmth. Also, as another example, as this catalog, also for another lighting company, it's called um, Parachilna. In this case, we just came up with the idea to not put a, a typical bind binding system. So we use uh, just an elastic rubber with different colors, and then you can spread the whole catalog on the ground <laughs> if you want. And this is a collaboration work with, uh, with illustrators and photographers. I'm very happy with this. So we try to be very honest not to hide anything, not to hide anything from the process. We're not doing Cinema 4D, that is very difficult to understand when you see Cinema 4D, it's like, it's amazing. It's a candy, I think, but I can understand where is this coming from. No, I, I, um, so in this case, we try to be very, you know, just straightforward and show everything, show the process. I think that the process is, is also important for us when we are no, um, trying to explain the ideas. So when I started uh, Lo Siento, uh, um, I had in my mind this idea to, okay, I want to do graphic design, but I want to recover, you know, what is disappearing right now. That is, you know, the craftsmanship thing, um, you know, put this thing into the, in the, in the graphic design 
more digital work, just to add something. Um, so when I started st um, studying in London, I, I, I specialized myself into uh, experimental typography. And that's why w we are very focused into typography and its, its transformation into something more um, graphic. This is a, po a polyedrical B from Bodoni. It's a homage that we did for an exhibition. And it's everything analog, made with a analog calculator by Gerard, just using the, uh, the Pythagoras theorem. And it's to try to get this, all this formula to uh, find out how these pieces, how, um, you know, how to get every single piece and every single fold part to, at the end, <laughs> mount up this uh, letter B made with um, proof sheets from the printer. You can see some proof sheets. So will it be believe in crafts? I believe in crafts. <laughs> so another project that we just end up um, is this homage also for this guy. It's called Theremin and is the inventor of this uh, music instrument called Theremin. I don't know if you heard about Theremin. And we have this commission project from from a music band uh, called Pinkertons in Barcelona, and they came to us and uh, asked us to do the the design cover for for this album, for this um, Leon Theremin homage. And so we, you know, I just realized these two things that are very um, personal in the instrument. That is this wire thing. That is the super important thing in the instrument. And we try to, you know, to transmit this idea of the wire just working with the typography. In this case, using the name of Leon and transform this, no? Passing this to a more physical thing with this wire. So we did the typography with the wire and then we started to, you know, to making up some um, color in this case is obviously it needs to be red because it's from the Russian Revolution and then uh, we end up with uh, with a cover it's called Leon from the Pinker Sons and Quarter Brosa then we move on with this pixelated image that we use as a reference to make the same thing but um, for the portrait of theremin, so we transform this uh, face in just one line wire illustration, and we transform it also, and we paint it with this red to make another version of the of the of the cover. So, um, as you can see, we have always this part, this physical part that we use in many of our projects, like this one that we did uh, an identity for a production company, advertising production company, they, they, they are called Cannonball. So it's not super clever, but we use the Cannonballs as a, as a main <laughs> you know, ingredient to set up and to design the whole identity, all the portraits. So uh, very carefully, no? Like this case that we did this um, identity for a, a photographer's exhibition in in the north of uh, Spain, and they had this logo, and uh, we had to transform trans transform this logo into something different and tactile, and and so we did four different campaigns for this um, project, and the first the first one we started to work with uh, the port expand balls. So this um, is quite difficult to work with uh, port expand balls because you c you can't breathe. You need to, you know, it's difficult to. You have to put a a pinza key. But <laughs> I don't know the name. <laughs> you put something here to not breathe in, because otherwise <laughs> the port expand. <laughs> you have to start over again and again. That was the next. Uh, the the following year, another um, campaign for this gecko that is um, 
It was about um, Fury, was the theme of, the, of, of that exhibition. And we started to do, you know, the same thing, but in this case, just using glass and breaking this glass and just taking some photographs to build the visual identity. Um, so we have been working with very different materials, uh, always using a message or uh, typography. This is, uh, is a poster that we did for the paper um, company, Federigoni, and it's Me Acabas de Tocar La Fibra. I don't know how to translate this because it's a, it's a Spanish sentence, but it's like that you touch my fiber, it's like that you, f you touch my heart, no? something like this. So because it's very obviously that you touch my fiber, I use fiber to, we use fiber to make this poster. So mm, the only thing is that when you work physically, there's no control set. You can go back, <laughs> you know, there's no control set. You know, maybe the client wants to make a lot of changes and you have to restart it. Um, all over again. This is more um, details of you know Gerard just working with this um, this is scalpel here that is from a Cirurgian scalpel, a real one. Um, also transforming this for a music cover for Pinkertons using um, this plastic metraquilato, and just you know designing the chai face as a little parts from a Hammond keyboard, that was the concept, and then trying to, you know, to create the piece and to set up everything on this little uh, space and taking the pictures. So there's a lot of processes, no, from the, you know, from the concept, from the idea, to the first to digitalize the technical part and then to convert this to something that is physical, and then to take pictures and then to insert the pictures in the the pictures in the in the computer and maybe recharge a little thing for the and, and, and to add a second layer of information. So it's quite a lot different processes, no? More posters, smashing watercolors. Um, this is a new project that we just uh, end up in New York, in Manhattan for uh, Jose Andres, that is a uh, Spanish chef. And so we did a food market based on the local Spanish food. And it's all the design is based in the stained glass uh, idea. Because all the food markets in space, they have this stained glass thing. So we tried to move this no, digital part to something more physical as this one. Also working with paper, that is one of the important main materials that we use, just doing the, uh, a version of a skeleton uh, foot. Like this one. And now we keep experimenting and trying to find new ways to, you know, to tell stories. This is, um, the other project that I showed uh, before, but this is a new version. And we try to do an oxidation of typography. So we, to we try to learn this technique. And I think that at the end we, we achieve it. I don't know. And it's, you know, to make this, this uh, title, this Couch on Life Animals um, ledger transforming into something that is um, rusty and oxidated. And this is some of the results of this process of oxidation. We started, started working with, um, with the typography and then also we moved to the portrait part. So we started to do this portrait part, oxidating a lot. Some of the portraits and this will end up into a vinyl um, design cover for the for this band. It's called Kalima. So the constant experimentation all the time. Just like, you know, 
like playing. We try to play seriously, obviously, but we are trying to uh, always trying to find new ways, no? Like this one, no? Um, I, I, I bought this machine that removes the, the fluff, no? The fluff from the, from the clothes. And then I realized that when you have this little deposit and you have all this bowl of different colors from the different clothes, and I said, we can do maybe something cool with this. So let's try to do this um, typography combination, just putting this floof. So it's uh, like it's the story of the clothes is there, no? You can see, no? Oh yeah, remember that blue, no? And that orange is from my, yeah, from my skirt. No? <laughs> so um, we've been working a lot with paper because paper is a very flexible and useful material. Um, and when we started to work with this uh, material, we did a project for a uh, osteopathy um, osteopathy school in Barcelona. It's called EMPO, and we started doing, you know, just the four um, first letters, that is the E, the M, the P, and the O, but we realized that we could, you know, just do the rest, and we did the whole alphabet. That is, everything is made, you know, just folding, cutting, and um, mix s with some maths, because Gerard is mad with mathematics, and he put his uh, knowledge into these letters, just um, using Pythagoras. Um, so more examples, you know, just working very carefully with paper. This is for Federigoni as well. This is number one lettering. This is a um, homage from Japanese culture, just using this, no? drawing this these um, illustrations, cutting, cutting out the paper. Um, that's for Abitare, Abitare magazine, this architecture um, and design magazine from Italy, and they commissioned us to design their, the, you know, the capital letter, this letter A, that is the logo um, from the magazine. It's just using the technique of folding, in this case, also for the embassy in the um, in, in United Kingdom, the Spanish embassy, we did this poster, just um, promoting Spanish designs. More homage, uh, more portraits for Theremin. In this case, it is a, a rejected idea, but it's made also using paper and this um, half-tone portrait post three dimensional posters with some depth there's a poster related with the concept of ecstasy that's why is a letter x there and we try to do a very you know a 10 different layers poster to have this sensation of depth because it's about ecstasy about penetration i think <laughs> um more ideas using paper, this is like a labyrinth, but it's a typographic labyrinth for um, also for a music cover, a rock band from Barcelona, it's called the Unfinished Sympathy. So we did all the, um, all this labyrinthic typographic piece, just using two colors, very as simple as uh, we can. Also for Wire magazine, you know, the technolog um, technological magazine, uh, they ask us to do a, a version of their logo um, in relation with the theme and the topic of, um, of flats, of, um, of houses, interior design houses. So we started to create the letters, no, the W, but with the, you know, with the bathroom and you know, all the everything there. You can go there and you can live, you can, and at the end, we did the whole uh, logo type. So this is five meters, a five meter piece. 
but at the end uh, were printed in five centimeters in the magazine. <laughs> also, we use paper to illustrate our um, photographies for the designs that we do, uh, like this uh, cold press uses. They're called the Goodmans, and we recreate the ingredients from each um, juice. The Goodmans. And something more typographic and condensed, like this one, that is a, a also a cover for a magazine in South Africa. It's called Design Times. And we did this craft lettering, paper lettering for them, as in the cover. So the paper, yeah, everything that we want to experiment, we use the paper as a m the main material to create um, some um, objects and pieces and typography. This is for this food market in New York that also we recreate and we did some uh, typical tapas, but just using paper, you know, berry ham or the red uh, green peppers. And then this is the purpose at the end is to make some uh, promotional posters like this one. Also, uh, we en uh, end up this work for Audi, um, for this campaign for the Q8, this uh, new car, and they ask us to work uh, doing paper graph. Um, so this is some of the results of the different um, campaigns for different magazines related with, you know, the horses magazine or horse magazine or um, more design magazines or fashion. So the this idea to you be connected with the client and with the process, this called Fogo, and we use this typical chef, you know, um, um, tool that they used to, know, to burn things. Because fogo in in um, Portuguese means fuego, fire. So we just cut out the logo and we just burn the logo, no? And then took photographs to illustrate the the menus of the pieces of this restaurant. It's a restaurant in Barcelona and it's for uh, it's from um, um, Dani Alves, that is a, a footballer, foot football player from the Barcelona and um, PSG, no? PSG, the PSG, Dani Alves, Dani, <laughs> he's over here, he's over there. So failing is always, uh, is always, you know, it's important to fail, to learn things. This is the case of this project that is called Errare Sutil, that is um, the failure is useful. Um, we did some different designs, but at the end we came up with these ideas more abstract, that is, is directly talking about these brain connections. So we started to uh, illustrate the title of this book. This is for a book, it's called Errar es Util. I know that it's, it's a bit difficult to read, but it's, it's, it's the purpose, no? Because you have to fail reading. And then we vectorize this to, com to convert the piece into something more physical. So this was the process of you know, producing this piece for the for the final cover. That is this one. Errar es útil. Or this guy that is a, it's called Juan Coloma, is a musician, and he asked us to do um, the the design for his latest album, and the name of the album was uh, called uh, the System. So uh, we came up with the idea to create like a personal system using different shapes and forms taken from the nature or from the like a cellular thing, and we started to try to create a 
like a brain of this musician, no? just using the portrait of the musician and creating this box. We started to create this uh, engine, no? like this machine things to create the, the cover. This is the cover. There's no text on the cover. It's in the plastic. As it when you remove the plastic, you have a, uh, this blank cover. There's no name, there's no anything. You have to turn it back and see um, the information. So also inside you have these little pieces no, distributed with the lyrics. Um, so one of the campaigns that we did for these guys, for the sketch of photo, the final one was uh, related with the idea of, of the journeys, of, of traveling, no? And we came up with the idea to do, um, a, a, to mix typography with topography. Because I, I was imagining all the time that, that I was, you know, just flying above this logo, no? And I imagine, oh, the logo is there, no? And it's blue, and, you know, it looks like like an island thing. So we started to create this topography for the typography. Simple as that. So at the end you are flying above the, the logo. <laughs> no? It's like a, a little city. And then we did some different uh, options no? with more coast. You can see the coast there. But at the end, is everything is made just um, handly made. Um, keeping this idea of experimentation all the time, uh, when you know a graphic designer and um, also a type designer, I'm, I'm sure that when you go, you know, when you are uh, just walking by the streets, you are always seeing. Uh, this grid on the no on the architecture or here there's a grid here on the carpet there's there's a grid here also no there's grids everywhere but so this is what, what happened sometimes that I took this um, bubble wrap paper plastic when I was you know moving from one house to another and I came up with this idea of we maybe we can do just like um, wow what about what effect um <laughs> we can do a, a modular typography with this and we started to inject liquid into the bubble wrap and start to create in these letters in this case we had this commission for from wire magazine also from uk and um so we bought this five meters bubble wrap plastic no, with Gerard, and Gerard is here, just injecting, injecting, from above, from the top. And I remember this project because um, we did it three times. We had to repeat it three times because the editor from the magazine um, wasn't secure about the, the final photography. So we, you know, you, we turn crazy. We, you have to, because from one day to another, the piece, just the, the liquid, no, this water, this color and liquid used to evaporate s super quickly. So we had to start the piece, you know, three times. And, th and at the end, they choose this picture from the first session. So we, 
we bueno <laughs> we we went crazy we bought a, a flight ticket and we went to london to search this guy with some uh, no with <laughs> with the syringe to inject So with this <laughs> experimentation thing using syringe, syringe is the name, is the correct syringe, no? Syringe. We had this commission also for a distributor, is a wine distributor in Spain. Um, they ask us to do the naming and the visual identity for the project. And the briefing was, okay, you guys need to find the name and this is about the story of each wine. That's the main thing. And I say, okay, um, the, the wine, the story, no? <laughs> okay, so I came up with this uh, name, that is Wine Size Story, because it's the story of the names. Um, it's very straightforward and very easy at the end. We took this typography that's super rounded and stencil, but for me it looks like the like, like little drops of liquid of, of these wines. Um, so we started to do, do a you know the main bottles for the reds and the and the whites, uh, the boxes, and then we try to do this. Can we do a you know a, a drinkable logo? <laughs> so we found in the internet this um, amazing product called Neverwet. That is something that in the states they used to spray the clothes before they, they go to the excursion, to, to go to the forest or to the wild. And it's a rejected liquid thing. And I said, that's interesting. We need this product that is rejecting liquid. We can use it as a spray with a stencil. And very carefully with this syringe, we can you know build up the typography. We started trying with the W and then we uh, construct the whole name. We apply this spray, never wet, <laughs> never wet, never wine wet. And at the end, we we, uh, we had the logo. It's a drinkable logo with a stroke. You can do a wine tasting. Wine tasting. <laughs> That's the negative version. But it's so powerful, the product, and you know, you can see that the, the, the drops are there, you know, you're suffering, you know? <laughs> trap, trap into this never wet cell. <laughs> There's another version, more, more fusion. Um, so more ideas about fusion um, is this uh, pizzeria chain in Barcelona called Camp Pizza. If you go to Barcelona, you have to go to Camp Pizza. They do the pizzas better than the Italians, <laughs> almost. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah, amazing. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> better than the Italians. So. They asked us to do the brand for them, and the first idea and the first memory thing that I had when they came to us is, okay, pizza, no? What is pizza? What, what, what means pizza to me? And the, uh, and the first thing was, you know, when you took a piece of pizza from the box, it's always this mozzarella that you can fight, <laughs> and you need to cut, and you can't. It's so flexible and elastic. And I say, okay, let's do the logo elastic like a <laughs> pizza piece and so the the brand doesn't have just one logo it has a lot of different logos a lot of different uh, mozzarella elastic thing so the whole identity is just super easy straightforward this red that is the tomato obviously and the white that is the doubt so the claim is respect the pizza this is coming from the client. And all the space for me is like the dot of the pizza. So I put the tomato on the walls as a messages. Uh, 
and pizza. Respect. Respect the pizza. <laughs> That's a Spanish one. Quien a pizza no es traidor. If you, it's not funny, but if you're Spanish, you, you will love maybe a little. Quien yeah. a pizza no es traidor. So there's Al Capone and Al Caparra. So uh, respect the pizza. So everything is this very easy um, system, no? With using the red from the tomato. So you know the signage is obviously is food, no? Like the mozzarella. Very good stuff there. You, you have to go. And this is the logo in the outside, just occupying the whole wall. Come pizza. So crafted, always attached to crafted. We want to do it honest, physical, tactile, analogic, um, revealing the process, real, three-dimensional, warm, something uh, real all the time. Um, that's why we spent a lot of time to find the time to do experimentation, not just commercial work, um, this is the case of this one that is uh, also homage for this uh, Bologna and it's just an idea that we had and it's this idea to um, reveal the skeleton of a physical letter, okay? So we took this one as an example, this uh, letter A, and we tried to do the skeleton, so just having every single layer reproducing this every single layer of the letter and converting this to layers of paper and trying to create an intersection of, um, of different pieces to have this volume, this physical letter A. I have a little video that shows how it works. Then we have this, no, this kind of a skeleton letter, no, without the skin, no, the letter. Um, that's another example, just working with concrete, trying to make the, um, this poster um, for an exhibition uh, about the tolerance concept. So in this case, we started to create these molds, these wood molds to do every single letter in concrete. These are some of the of the letters, and then we just set up all the letters on special place and then started to break in with a hammer, very, with a fury, huh? <laughs> every single letter to have this um, sensation and this impact thing on the lettering, on the poster itself. Um, that's another version, uh, another poster for AIGA, you know, the um, American Association, Designers Association. Um, 
is related with the uh, concept of uh, community. So in this case, we came up with the idea to do um, um, like a puzzle no? concept. So we did the puzzle itself to make the, the final poster related with this community. No? And this one piece that is missing that is trying to be part of this community. So always very focused no? and a little bit obsessed of with letters and 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 its connection with materials like this one no there's a a concept related with the champagne iron thing almost something more me more into a carpenter feel that is this project that is um is a project done for that chair and you have these friends in Barcelona that they are interior designers and they also design furniture and they s sent us to the studio this chair and just said to uh, you know th they said okay do you can do whatever you want with this chair but because we want to keep different versions of this chair um, but with something made and designed um, from a friend or from a designer so I just, you know, we came up with the idea to engrave by hand this sentence that is in Spanish that you will not understand, but is related with the idea of lo siento, me siento, because um, to sit is the same word of lo siento, lo siento, me siento. So it's a very funny, strange uh, sentence. So uh, what we did, we started to learn how to um, carving, do this carving thing into the chair. Al Gerard, Gerard, always there, Gerard. You can scratch your bottom with the with the letters there, and you can feel the sentence there, <laughs> scratching, tick 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 tick. <laughs> so that's the result. Some views. Um, you know, following with the experimentation experimentation part, uh, I show you this one that I that you seen at the beginning is this uh, typography made with paper that is called um, 4D mix. And we did a lot of different combinations, just um, trying with every single combination can works. So, so we did a black version. And here you can see the inside part before it's, it's made, it's end up, that is this one. And also this M with X try in different, also different colors. Okay, yeah, I, I'm almost finished. Um, before I finish, um, I will show you this project that we did for um, a workshop for Adidas, you know, the sneaker rant. And they asked us to set up and to design a workshop. And so what we did is, um, there was about the presentation of this uh, model, of this sneaker, it's called Solar, Boot, Solar Boost. Um, so the idea was to create 30 different sets of pieces, paper pieces, to design a paper sneaker. And this is how it works.
Thank you. From this to this. <laughs> okay, just uh, finishing an um, important ingredient from uh, our everyday life's um, work, work time in the studio. Uh, we always try to have fun. This is super important. We are like a family. You spend a lot of time in the studio, more than with your family. So it's important to to have fun. Otherwise, it's, it's going to be, you know, super tricky. And so we try to have fun in every single thing that we design and uh, we do, just using the language or, or a lighting catalog. Just, you know, interacting with the pigeons. It's because there's a lot of pigeons in Barcelona and they are they, they approach to, to you, like, humans so you can interact with pigeons or do experimentation with your product clients products like this baker man this is the amazing bread it's like from another galaxy and then also we do weapons of iberic iberic ham weapons <laughs> and the best <laughs> player you know <laughs> Merci, merci beaucoup. Thank you very much, Moha. You're welcome. You, you cook ideas. Yes. And it was delicious. Delicious. Mm. Thank you. We have pizza. Do you have right questions? Now. I can smell the pizza. No, no. The French, pi the French uh -huh. pizza is better than the. the, the that the Spanish Italian one. <laughs> Does anyone have a question? <laughs> so I have one for you. Um, it's uh, because all this work takes time, and time is money, and uh, we are now in a hurry in a way where everything is so sp speed. So I was just wondering, how do you manage to take this time? It's kind of a luxury, but how does it work? It's difficult at, at the beginning, because when you do, we try to, you, to do uh, new ideas or new things, you, you don't have time to prove them or to test them. So it's like, if you go, you go with everything, no? And we spend a lot of time just maybe sleeping in the studio or something like that. Sometimes, yeah, quite big errors at the beginning. But at the end, you are becoming fast. That is a gymnastic thing. Oh. So okay. we, we, we learn a lot about these errors. Mm -hmm. it's, it's risky. Sometimes it's, it's been too risky. Mm -hmm. But it's part of the game, you know. It's not a comfortable thing. Thanks. Does anyone? Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, tonight, there are the Laos Awards in Barcelona. So what do you feel about the state of the graphic design in Barcelona compared to the other cities? And uh, what is the best and the worst from the graphic design in the studios in general in Barcelona. How do you feel about it? I think that is a, is a, sup is a super good moment in Barcelona for, for the agencies, for graphic design. Maybe the, the, the best moment, because there's a lot of, of good agencies doing good work. And the good and the, the worst and the, sorry? The best. Como las dicho? The worst and the best. The worst and the best. I don't know, I, I'm, I'm I, I because I'm teaching in um, many different uh, uh, universities, I can see pff, um, a, a very a hysteric um, development of, 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 of the, you know, the young designers. A lot of young designers just doing super ugly type designs <laughs> just because they want to maybe no, to find their way, but there's a lot of you know, uh, there's a lot of people lost, you know. I can see this 
and, and this addiction to computers, no? That is for me, is, I don't know if he's, if, if he's doing a, 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 no, a great, uh, I don't know, um, I don't know if this is positive for, for the next designers, this super addiction connection to, uh, to computers and machines. It's my point of view. I don't know. Question? Thank you for the talk. Um, Thank you. I've noticed one thing that's very common through all of your projects. Uh, mostly you use all caps look all caps. in all of your projects. Yeah, <laughs> and as someone who's designing a display typeface, uh, I wonder if you have the answer on the question, what makes all caps look works better than like caps and lowercase or all lowercase for the final designs, for the poster designs and stuff like that. Because a lot of people doing that, like it, uh, it works, but yeah. I, I don't think everyone uh, have an answer why. Uh, you know, some people using it because like the other people using it, so maybe you have. I think the, the lowercase yeah. are more complex, no? more, no? They don't have this, um, you know, you can ask Snail because he's the expert <laughs> and <laughs> he's the expert. I'm not, I'm not a letter designer, but, but I think that, uh, um, no, uppercase is, is not, s that mm, is not so complicated than the, uh, than the lowercase. Lowercase, I think that they have more detail, no? But we did lowercase, you know, you see that letter A is a, was a lowercase. <laughs> Made in wood, uh, was a lowercase thing. No, no, but but I think this the, the, no, the difference maybe is this, you know, this super complexity when you have to do it physically. Is more um, maybe it's more super difficult, yeah, but I don't know. I don't know what we, re what we use, no, um, uppercase, <laughs> in everything. We love uppercase. Um, thank you, that was amazing, <laughs> inspiring. Um, this is not a very interesting question, but a technical question. I, your work seems to rely a lot on amazing photography um, to really get across the, the sculptural nature of it. Mm. and. How do you do that? Do you, ha do you work with a photographer? Are you all good photographers in the studio? No. Do you take your models to an external studio to shoot them? Um no. we, <laughs> we, we learn ourselves to, to do a proper photography because we are making, you know, I'm making pictures all the time. So we couldn't you know, be in touch with the photographer all the time. Hey, come, yeah. come, another photo, come here, no? <laughs> another session. Um, but we learn a lot from, you know, these skills from tips from uh, photogra photographers. They, they teach us a lot of techniques to do it properly. So at the end, we, we, you know, we learn the technique. And we have the, you know, the photo shooting there active all the time. Because we are using photography for everything. For the process, for the final picture, for the portfolio. Is all the time is working. And the videos as well, the, the process videos that you make. Sorry? The, the videos the that you make of the process. The videos. No, the yeah. videos is made by a uh, professional. Oh yeah. Okay. yeah. This <laughs> is a professional. Yeah, it's one single person with a camera, but not very carefully done. No, the videos, no, we are not into videos, <laughs> but more pictures Thank to you. show process. Thank you. Another question? Jean Francois. It's not exactly a question. <laughs> it's more a comment about the use of typeface. Um, as a typeface designer, Fonries, we are always looking for a good graphic designer to have their typeface in use. And there is also, in some time, this complaint of uh, graphic designer. Uh, 
who do shitty work with your typeface and we complain of, you know, oh, what they have done with the typeface. You are, uh, you are even a, a, a third case we, we, uh, that I never threw about. Because uh, if you give you a typeface, you will put blood on it, pizza, salami, <laughs> salt, uh, cloud. So you are even more dangerous for typeface on any other <laughs> designer. So thank you very much. <laughs>